What is happening, Internet? K-Wink here. And uh, finally, finally, we have a release date for Gotham Knights. Oh, yes. More right after this. So, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Nightwing of One. And yes, it is true, this morning at 9 a.m. when I was fast asleep, WB Games Montreal decided to officially reveal the release date, which will be October of 2022. Now, a little fun fact for you. Did you know that Batman Arkham Origins, which was also developed by WB Games Montreal, released in October of 2013? So, just like uh, then... Gotham Knights will also be a fall slash October game 2022, which is awesome. Now, I told you guys the game would either drop in the spring or summer of 2022 originally. And then I was like, I think it was a few months ago. I was talking about this on Twitter with my followers and it was like, you know, it would make more sense for the game to come out in the fall of 2022 to be a vehicle for the Batgirl movie, which is coming out in December. And lo and behold, boom, that's what happened. Uh, now, the reason why this is very exciting is because it does mean the game is coming out. When a release date, more or less, uh, is announced, it's kind of a concrete thing, not just speculation, that the game is going to be coming out at that time. Now, sometimes WB Games can delay a game uh, almost indefinitely, like they did with the LEGO Star Wars game, which is coming in April. But um, this is very good for the Batman stuff. Now, it's kind of a shame it's not going to come out in the spring or summer, like while the hype of the Batman movie is still in high gear. But it makes sense that they're going to push this game as a Batgirl vehicle because that is what the big thing in December is going to be. Of course, with Leslie Grace and Michael Keaton and possibly Dylan O'Brien and all these different stars attached to this uh, Batgirl movie as a uh, you know springboard for the Gotham Knights game. Totally makes sense. They're also doing casting information for the Gotham Knights TV show. So, I mean, everything is kind of falling into place, which is fantastic. This is also good news because it means that the Discovery merger won't really bother the Gotham Knights team anymore. And finally, we're going to get some more info about the game. Now, they've been silent for months and months on end, and it's been maddening because everybody always asks me, they're like, do you know what's going on with Gotham Knights? It's like, no, it's been silent. And silence is usually a very bad thing. So the fact that they did this today, this is cause for celebration. It really is. It also makes me happy because I'll finally be able to release all my lores and all my fun fact videos that I've had in development for some time uh, on these characters for Batgirl, Nightwing, Robin, and Red Hood. And I can finally have new gameplay to go along uh, with these stories that I want to tell people. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, this couldn't have come at a better time. Like, I was really concerned that they were going to delay Gotham Knights again because of the whole Discovery thing, which is really kicking into high gear very, very soon. Uh, they closed some offices for DC Comics already in California, which is weird because DC Comics moved all the way down to California, and now they're basically being uh, taken out of their offices. There's problems going on at WB Pictures, so it's nice to see that... A lot of good things are happening for WB Games and specifically WB Games Montreal because originally they were on the chopping block for a lot of other uh, different game studios that were owned by Warner Brothers during the whole Discovery Talks. But thankfully, you know, WB Games isn't going to be broken up. All our uh, favorite developers are still going to be in-house for quite some time. So that's good. And uh, this is just this is very, 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 very good news. I'm very excited about this. Uh, people are asking, do you know when they're going to drop uh, new trailers for this? I mean, sometimes when they announce a release date, they can release a trailer like any time the month that they uh, made the announcement when the game's coming out. But I really believe because E3 is such a big gamer holiday that they'll, you know, hold off on a lot of their marketing until probably, mm, I would say June, most likely. Maybe they'll have like a big push with uh, DC fandom. That's probably when we'll see the official Batgirl trailer uh, coming out as well. Now, the only things that I'm disappointed about the whole Gotham Knights game is originally it was going to be a special thing for uh, different villains that Red Hood and Robin and Nightwing and Batgirl have faced like in their own comics. But over the course of development, um, why I stopped doing that whole, you know, villains I want to see in Gotham Knights. They basically scrapped that idea and they're going to bring in Batman villains and see how Batman villains deal with the vacuum of Batman's death and the rise of the sidekicks, like becoming the new guardians of Gotham. 
along with, you know, the Court of Owls being a pain in the butt. But I never really liked that idea. I was just kind of like, ah, uh, it, it just feels like kind of a Batman game missing the key element, Batman. And, you know, it it's a shame that they're going to do that. There might be some side missions that deal with characters uh, like, you know, maybe Commissioner Gordon's son, James, who is an arch enemy of his uh, sister, Batgirl. Maybe we'll get uh, some connection with Haley Circus and the Court of Owls. Maybe we'll see the general or maybe one of Red Hood's villains show up. But for the most part, it's going to be like Penguin, Poison Ivy. It'll be Mr. Freeze, Two-Face, things like that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Joker shows up or something. But he probably won't because Batman is dead and, uh, you know, really has no connection to that. Also, the fact that the game isn't connected to the Arkham games and it's its own thing really makes me excited. As I've said, you know, over a year or so ago, because it's new Batman stories that are not confined to a sandbox that's already been established. This is WB Games Montreal's time to shine and do whatever they want. So I'm hoping that they make good use of the property and that it's a really fun game. I'm very excited. I'm going to start planning uh, more stuff out in advance now because we have time. And finally, uh, Gotham Knights will be gracing our presence before the end of the year. And this is just... An amazing time. But now I want to hear from all of you guys and gals. How do you feel about Gotham Knights finally coming this year in the fall? Let me know in the comment section below. Are you happy? Are you excited? Are you upset? I don't know why you'd be upset, but let me know how you feel about all this. Are you surprised that they uh, decided to do a fall release to kind of make it a big push for the Batgirl movie? Or you think it's just completely... Uh, coincidental or maybe it's celebratory so that they can be like hey we did this for Arkham Origins in 2013 we're doing the same thing with our studio in uh, 2022 for the fall but um, thanks so much for listening people my the Batman review will be happening uh, this week it's pretty long and then the Batman prequel lore uh, focusing on just Batman and his alias is Paul uh, will be added um, to the channel and then the Riddler origin will be the following week. I'm also going to do deep dives in a lot of different the Batman stuff such as the gadgets that Batman used in the movie, talking about uh, where they can go for sequels. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of cool discussion stuff happening. But I wanted to get this Gotham Knights uh, video recorded as soon as possible and get it up uh, sometime tonight. Thanks so much for watching everybody and until we meet again keep it locked here on the Nightwing and One channel for your destination on all things Batman in movies, video games, uh, cartoons, and occasionally comics. God bless and have a gaming Gothamites. Finally, the Gotham Knights game is coming. Yes!